Welcome to WABHS News. I'm Emily Bruno. And I'm Victoria Crawford. Tonight, we'll be doing a special segment on this year's water break. This year, the state of Louisiana awarded Archbishop Blake's science Park with money, judging, and technology to study local water quality. Ms. Stratton and Ms. St. Germain are in the 8th grade and invited environmental science class to study water pollution, wetland ecology, and coastal erosion. The projects we did taught us the importance of being stewards to our environment. We'd like to share some of our experiments with you in hopes that you will inspire you to do the same. We now turn to our correspondent, Summer Suleiman. Live with the results. Tell us, Meredith, what were the results? Well, Summer, it's not as bad as it could be, but we definitely have some problems. Fortunately, our water tests negative for mercury and lead, which is a relief because these elements can cause brain damage in humans. On the downside, though, we did get positive for phosphate, coliform bacteria, and contamination by acid rain. And why is this significant? Tell us, what exactly does this mean for us? Well, phosphate is a leading cause of eutrophication, which is the process by which algae populations explode. You see, phosphate is a nutrient needed for plant growth, plant growth. When there's too much of it in the water, algae grows like crazy. They suck the nutrients out of the water and suffocate the fish that live in it. That's what's happening in the Gulf of Mexico when we get what's called the dead zone. Where do these phosphates come from? Mainly from things like detergents and fertilizers. If you don't use phosphate-free laundry detergent, your home's wastewater carries the phosphates out to the Mississippi River, and it empties out into the Gulf. But the main source of phosphate pollution is fertilizer that are used to grow crops. Farm runoff dumps phosphates into the Mississippi River. Even farms up in the Midwest end up polluting the Gulf of Mexico. And what about coliform bacteria? That's found in feces. All types of animals, including humans. It doesn't necessarily hurt us, but it does indicate that feces is contaminating the water. Feces has a lot of other undesirable bacteria in it. That could cause serious disease. You find especially high levels of it in the waterways after rainstorms. When sewers overflow into places like like Pontchartrain. I even understand that we found it in our own school pool. Is that true? Yes. The pool did test positive for coliform, but it was only once out of a dozen times. It was early in the morning after a rainstorm, so my guess is that maybe some bird poop was washed into the pool. Definitely no cause for hysteria! Well, that's definitely a relief. So tell us more about acid rain. That's one of our biggest problems here in Louisiana, Summer. Chemicals emitted by coal-fired power plants and other industries combine with our atmosphere and from sul form sulfuric and nitric acids. When it rains, these acids enter our water and lower its pH. Fish and plants die. Water should have a pH of about 7 to 7.5, but a lot of water we tested was around 6.0. So what can we do about this problem? Well, in terms of acid rain, it's very important that the government cracks down on industrial plants and forces them to reduce the emissions. We also need a system 
that prevents contaminated runoff water from entering our waterways. Runoff contains all kinds of other pollutants like pesticides and motor oil. Well, that sounds like something that we as individuals can help out with. Definitely so. Don't dump anything out on your lawn that you wouldn't want to drink. Anything you put on the ground can end up in your drinking water. Make sure you use laundry detergent that's phosphate free. It'll tell you on the label. Also, urge your senators and representatives to support laws that protect water quality! Woo! Thank you, Meredith, for your wonderful words of wisdom. You're so very welcome, Summer! give a demonstration that shows exactly how runoff water pollution, we have Brittany here with our Enviroscape model. This model represents a typical American neighborhood and the Kool-Aid represents pesticides and fertilizers that farmers use for their crops and homeowners use for their lawns. Um, there's, this irresponsible homeowner here has dumped out some old paint into his lawn. Old paint. Okay, and empty motor oil, oil onto his driveway. And over here, we have an industrial uh, plant that's dumping chemicals into his chemical Now watch what happens when it rains. Notice how all of these pollutants end up in the lake, which the residents use for their water source. Now watch what happens when we add trees to the river. The runoff gets absorbed by the roots, and it's very important that we don't cut down so our anchor is back at the WABH news station. Thank you, Summer, for all these fabulous interviews. And thanks to our blank scientists for all the information. Now we turn to another grant topic. Coastal erosion. This is Louisiana coastline. Oh, what's left of it, that is. Louisiana is home to 40% of our nation's wetlands. Wetlands protect our coast from hurricanes and provide us with rich biodiversity. Without our wetlands, our fishing industry can disappear forever. A little experiment to show how it works. We are losing, we are, erosion is caused by wind, and here's an example. The Mississippi carries salmon from the whole country down here and down to here. This is how New Orleans was formed. <clears throat> the levees prevent the sediment buildup and it carries away to the Gulf. There are some other issues that cause erosion. One is suburb development. Over the past 50 years, we've filled the wetlands and built houses on them. Stone Bridge is a great example. And then there's the nutria. Yes, nutria are an invasive species that were brought here from Argentina for fur farm. They eventually got into the wild and started to grow properly. They fed on marsh grasses and destroyed marshes at an amazingly fast rate. When there are no grasses to hold marsh sediment in place, it washes away. The same thing happens when we dig canals and oil pipelines. Yes, you are correct. What can be done about this? There are many different things going on right now. They got laws like the Burr Act, and they are bringing in money. Also, Blank did the Christmas tree time. 